Hi there, Zelda here, and welcome back to Hourglass Season 2, Episode 1. Guys, we did it. We wrapped up Season 1, and we have begun Season 2. I could not be more excited that the server kept enough interest and kept uh, the players and even you guys, the viewers, uh, through the whole season one, and that we can we can come back and say we are starting a second season. So I want to take an opportunity to talk to you guys real quick about some of the changes for this season. Hourglass is still going to be a limited timed community build challenge server, meaning that we will have limited times, limited amount of time for our build for each of the community areas. However, we don't have an end date for the server. We are going to let the server run as long as there's interest. So season two might be six months again, but it could be two years. We really genuinely have no idea at this time uh, what the player base is gonna want, what what we're gonna want. Um, Cause you know, uh, Minecraft is rolling out new updates, new content all the time. It will get harder and harder to update a world, but if we're just having fun, we're just gonna keep rolling. So that's the biggest change, but the time frame, the hourglass namesake is kept in that each month we're going to continue to do the monthly community build areas. So for the first month, for the month of January, we are working here in Spawn. Pants are nice. The admin and one of the players on the server found this absolutely incredible seed that I am so excited to show off to you guys. We, uh, we did move Spawn, so for those of you guys that are interested. I'll, I'll release the seed probably sometime. Uh, the players all have the seed, but what I want to point out is that we did change the location of spawn, so we're not at zero zero, or we're kind of near-ish zero zero, but we did this in order so that we could have the caves and the cliffs both easily accessible to us. So we have the amazing stony peaks behind us, and then we have some amazing caves down below that you will get to see soon. <laughs> <laughs> there is there there is there is happenings down there already um but one of the things that I wanted to one of the other changes for this season is that it's not just going to be the communal areas spawn is still going to be central storage and all the community farms so we're going to have um resources to do the community projects with but we're also allowing player bases this season which we didn't really have time to kind of invest in last season uh but we want to kind of open up the world a little bit give you know a little bit more creativity so in addition to the player bases we also don't have a theme for the overall server. Last season, the theme was Magic the Gathering, and we took that and kind of applied it to every area on the server. Even our nether had a build that was inspired by Magic the Gathering. But this season, we're opening it up, and each month, the members are going to pick what the build theme is. So as I mentioned, month one is to get geared up and to create all of our farms and storage um, in spawn town and spawn theme was decided to be steampunk slash slash magic sorry that came out so bad so steampunk slash magical so imagine like this world with inventions and creativity and color and hodgepodge and like we could have stuff floating uh pipes everywhere so we've got a lot of ideas already about how this area is going to look we've shared a lot of inspiration photos Myself and several of the members in the Discord um, are all kind of getting our wheels turning, so to say, uh, for this area. And what I'm excited to say is that we're we're on track to get um, the the farms that we need, and then month two, uh, like m all the all the farms and the gear, we need gear, and then month two, we're actually going to tackle another hub system this year. So we don't know where the future build sites are in the world, but we're going to make a safe other um, cardinal directions in month two and that is being voted on by the members in the upcoming week so as soon as I'm able to um, tell you guys what the next uh, like month is we will will release that in the upcoming episodes but we'll try to go 
as each month um, starts and stops, and so we'll keep you updated with what's coming up. So Steampunk, Steampunk is for Spawn. And so what I'm going to do now is we've got to get ready. We've got to we got to launch the server, <laughs> guys. We got to get it started. I'm I'm I can't be the only player on the server. Um, <laughs> I I need friends. Help me fill up this space, <laughs> please help me. <laughs> so I'm gonna go. Uh, we're gonna get the server launched. I'm gonna do what I did last time, and I'm gonna record uh, the first day's shenanigans. And so I hope uh, if that recording is intact, we're going to see clips of day one. Um, and the adventures that we had upcoming, um, in the video. And then from there, I will take you into kind of an update, um, of what all, what all we're doing in Spawn and show you that. So I will be right back. put a in this place where this house was let's put a um oh okay my shovel just broke um, i'll make you another like a uh like a maybe a five or ten by ten by three hole and move the other villagers in there where do you go uh, i have shovel for you thank you Ooh, yeah a fancy one fancy fancy so that we so ten by three yeah, roughly. Oh. Um, hey, man, like, yeah. I'm a skilled Minecrafter. Oh my god. <laughs> Usually when somebody says that, it's, uh, they're about wait, to. Wait, hold on. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> so, wait. Is this One, five, two, five by five. Three. Five by oh. five will be okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> How deep do you want it? Uh, just three yeah, blocks. Four chats, then we can put it same time. Uh, roof on it. Alright. Oops. And I went oh. far. Okay. Let me give you Oh, I was gonna oh. <laughs> It's okay. We can just do this. Where are you guys? Uh we're in the village to the northwest of spawn. Huh. We're decimating the village and moving all the villagers um into a safety pit right now. Huh. If you wanted to put them in here, this is where the breeder is going like, to output to. Oh, okay. So two okay. breeders, I'm guessing. Um, I think we we'll only need one breeder. So, what do you think this would be for then? We can, we can just fill that back up. I didn't know Vert had a spot already. <laughs> <laughs> I'll start that work. I'm I'll sorry. fill this back up. It's okay. I'll fill this up <laughs> then. I have to go. It's a practice in communications, right? Wow, I'm here. Whoa. Whoa. This village bumps right up against like a really cool cave system. I didn't realize that. Wow. Oh. Oh. We should have put the breeder inside of this. That would have been hilarious. No, actually, that would have been really bad. Because then we could never get them out to other farms. <laughs> I mean, that's a problem for our later selves, right? <laughs> right, yes, exactly. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm currently collecting some two tall flowers right now, by the way. Okay. So we can start working on uh, a little bit of dye. That's great, because I've got the sheep um, blocked in that we're gonna want. Um, mm -hmm. like I'm starting, I was going to breed them. I bred them once and then I got distracted again. <laughs> but then we can get them, um, into cells for the different colors. Oh, yeah. So, sh so we should probably collect uh, more different kinds of flowers then. 
as many flowers as we're able to. All right. Challenge accepted. <laughs> and I don't know. I feel like there is a pretty close flower forest, but I don't think it, I think it's kind of small. But like the meadows, I think now have all the different. Oh, I found a mega tiger too. Nice. Just east. Well, I, a couple of hundred blocks east. So there's plenty of coarse dirt. That's nice because uh, we won't have the bartering farm for a while. I'm used to having all these really big OP farms and now it's like, gotta wait, gotta wait. <laughs> but now you gotta start over all it uh -huh. <laughs> again. Exactly. Yeah. Do we need a mushroom farm? Um... Whoops. Oh, I'm surprised I didn't die. Um, probably, but I don't know, like, what do you use? I feel like there is something you use mushrooms for, but I just don't know what that is. Um, I don't know either, but I'm collecting some, so we'll see. <laughs> I didn't realize how close I am to death. This is going to be interesting. All in the hope of rescuing one villager. <laughs> we'll see if this works. I might, I might drown. This will be interesting. He might drown. The villager might drown before he gets up to the top. Yeah, he's drowning. Nope. 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 Please make it. Please make it. Otherwise, I just made this really ugly monstrosity for nothing. No! Oh my gosh! <laughs> right at the top of the water meter. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> it was too tall for him.
Is he one? Uh, uh, I need to. Oh, shoot. So I saw him. I saw him and I looked at him. And he's mad. He's mad. He's mad. He's mad. He's mad. He's mad. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm so dead. Oh. <laughs> what are your coordinates? 360, um, 386? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rip. Dang it. I'm going to put him in uh, chat for voice, too, so you get the height, because I did have one pearl on me already. Okay. So. Oh, you were oh. just above me, oh, wait. Yeah. My bad. Ah, I didn't mean to look at him. I was trying to gauge how far away he was. Well. I'm lost. How about okay? that, guys? Don't do um, that. Don't do that. I just found six chickens in a hole. I think I found a cult of chickens. I'm going to leave before they turn me into one of their own. Probably a good idea. They already did, man. You're oh, running. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God, Walt. You're That's like the worst thing I've ever heard Walt say. <laughs> this is the best thing he's ever said. He's so corny funny when he, uh, when he has the opportunity. And welcome back. <laughs> Uh, it's changed a bit already, hasn't it? <laughs> I tried so hard to stop and make recordings of progress throughout the throughout this first week, but I tell you what, I have just been having so much fun playing on the server. I got a little distracted. <laughs> So what I want to do for you now today um, is walk you through what 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 spawn is shaping up to be what what we see behind me already. Um, I I have spent so much time playing with the people on the server already, and I just could not be happy. Like I'm grinning from ear to ear as much fun as I had in this past week, and I know there's always this like energy at the beginning of the server um every server launch feels this way it's the grind for gear it's the grind for resources uh but i do want to just give a huge shout out to everyone that's participated in week one you guys really kicked off the server uh in such a phenomenal way i'm super truly excited to play with you all and uh to start to show off and um start to start to reveal the server so the very first thing i'm gonna do i think this will be the easiest way to get the lay of the land now if you know anything about me and if you don't i'm going to tell you right now i love these observation towers <laughs> <laughs> Pants has made fun of me from day one of knowing me because I always put an observation tower up on my worlds or in my bases when I'm making the plans. And this is why is because uh, A, we didn't have rockets the first couple days and B is because a bird's eye view is really helpful to plan an area. Now, I do use uh, FWIP's method of using carpets um, and color coding the carpets. So this all means stuff. But basically, what, what we're looking at here are the outlines for storage. This season, we are going to have a decentralized storage system, which means that we're not going to have that one big main housing for the storage. Instead, what we're going to have are thematic builds throughout the spawn that either have farms in them or that store our items. So the first couple really good examples of that is what Bo's working on over there the um, mine storage is going to be all of our rocks like cobbles, stone, andesite, diorite, um, and granite. And I think gravel's going over there too. Um, I'll, I'll, have to, I'll have to put a list somewhere so that I can remember. Um, and then in this mine entrance, the mine entrance is actually our nether. <laughs> Um, it's a little, it's a little bit confusing. So there's the mine storage, there's the mine entrance, and then that over there is the actual mine that we have to come up with a cool, um, like entrance for. So like, that's, that's the way we get down there. We'll see that in just a minute. Um, but the mine entrance is going to be, we're going to carve out a cave behind that and do nether storage. So we're going to have like another cave in this mountain back there that has all of our nether storage. So rocks and earthy materials, nether storage. And then over here, you can see the temporary manual farm that we have. And then it's kind of hard to make out, but there are four green pillars there. And you can see that there's some wood in the ground. Ignore my copper uh, field. That's for aging. <laughs> We're trying to age up some copper right now. Uh, but that's going to be the lumberjack so that we can store all types of wood and wood items over there. 
And then this one is going, I, I gotta go look at this one. I always forget what I called this one, but I, I thought it was so clever, y'all. I thought it was so clever. This is the exotic species expert. <laughs> So this will be for all of our hostile mob storage, and it was picked as the location because that is actually our creeper farm this season. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to have the drops feed automatically up into here. And we also have a spider farm really close and a skelly farm, uh, skelly spawner and spider spawner really close that we're going to also feed into this. Um, but then as we go walking, I'll show you some of the other themed builds. So we're going to have a botanist for all things floral, uh, floral and fauna. Wait, no, wait, fauna's animals. Let's, let's go up here. I'll show you where the fauna is going. <laughs> no. Okay. Someone in the comments, correct me. I feel like I'm making, uh, that all kinds of wrong. Uh, the butcher is going to be for the passive mob drops. Um, anything related to the passive mobs in game. And then we're going to have an, uh... Amethyst storage, which was, there was, there was a better way to call this. I forgot what it was though. Um, um, but we're going to have the ameth amethyst drops come up here. That's the crystals. That's the amethyst blocks. That's the calcite. Um, and then we've already got a couple of our farms started. The other thing I should point out is all the yellow wool are our paths. And depending on which district we're in, we're going to probably have different paths. Um, but this is one of the first farms that got up on the server. It is our sugarcane farm. And that is uh, the temporary sugarcane farm over there while this one was getting built. So I'm pretty sure we're going to start to clear some of these temporary farms out. Um, and then another storage area we have is Masons. Um, and it's a pretty sizable build because they are going to get all things brick, quartz, terracotta, and glazed terracotta. So that's going here. And then up there on the mountain, Misty on the server actually has a really cool idea for a steampunk igloo that's going to keep all of our like frozen, the ice and the snow stuff up there. And we could probably, because of where it is, I'm betting we could probably even include a actual snow farm. Um, these guys attacked me on day one, so they are my prisoners. <laughs> uh, the red wool marks out our two mob spawners. So these are going to be where the, I think, this one's spider and that one's skelly. Um, and then we do have a couple just decorative builds for now. This is going to be a post office um, by Glorious Wolf. Glorious Wolf is the one who did our mine entrance for us. And then Pants Are Nice did the house back here. And we're going to use this for books and armor and tool storage. Um, it, as we're getting geared up. So, like, remember last season, uh, for those of you guys that were here... Oh, what is that? Wait, hold on. What is that? Oh, uh, <laughs> um, so one of the one of the things we had last season was the tool shed where we kept all of our enchanted gear and all of our backups and everything. And so I think that's what this one's going to become um, in the end, because once we once we finish using books, we're going to start storing equipment. And then Pants also did the tower on top of the hill. And oh my gosh, it's getting late, which means I've already been recording for far longer than I anticipated. There is so much progress already on the server. Guys, I, did, I told you I'm grading from ear to ear, correct? Like this is so amazing to see. But this is going to be our blacksmith, our smithy up there. And they are going to house all the precious materials. So all of our um, emerald doors and all of our diamond doors and all the shinies are going up there. And then we've got several other areas that are planned out. I think the only other one that I want to show right now is actually the project that I did day one. The reason why these guys were attacking me out here in this field is I made the wool farm day one because I needed wool so that I could play in the rest of spawn. <laughs> So this is just a tried and true method from me um, on season two of the last SMP I played on. I made the same thing. So this is apparently my season two wool farm. Uh, but we ran the wool shop on the last ser server that I was on. So this is what supplied a whole server with wool. So we should be doing, oh yeah, we're doing just fine. Uh, let's see what's in the hopper. Can I see in the hopper? I can't see in the hopper because of the, <gasps> because of the tracks. Okay, never mind. But we're doing great. We're doing wonderful. I probably need to, um, my next redstone project will be here. And I might even be able to get a time lapse of that in the next episode um, where I'm figuring out the redstone for this because we have a shulker farm already. 
already, guys. I, I'm not even going to be able to get to all the farms that we have already. Um, I'm going to run out of recording time. But I'm going to try a little bit of advanced redstone for myself and do shulker loaders here so that these will automatically feed into shulkers now that we have basically an infinite supply of shulkers. So that's going to be the next upgrade to this farm. And then Misty made a AFKable nether wart farm up above it. And so we're going to house them together in the same build because they were very similar dimensions. Um, they were both going to be really long and flat. <laughs> so we put them together. Um, a lot of the other farms are actually going into the caves right now. And I want to show you that also. So let me real quick. I know I said I wasn't going to be able to show all the farms, but I do want to show you guys our cave system. And then, and then after I show you guys this cave system, I'm going to be able to show you some fun footage from the, um, <clears throat> uh, we fought a wither this week. <laughs> we needed some beacons bad to do some of the projects that we wanted to get off the, off the, uh, launching pad already. So we actually have, um, I participated in two different wither fights. I got recordings of one. So I'm going to show you guys that after we finish our little walking tour here. So... Before I show you the farms, I'm just going to fly, whoops, out into the farm. <laughs> oh, that was so smooth. Oh, that was great. I love that. But we have such this massive cave system in here. M about 80% of it is under spawn. Uh, so like this area over here is under spawn, but the backside of the cave is actually outside of the spawn chunks. But we're able to use so much of this space in here. And then the other thing, I probably should have got to this, ouch from the outside, but okay. So this cave system is basically three tiers. So this is the top tier of this cave system and I can fly around all of it. I can fly around the whole cave system. Um, but this is actually where the brains of our uh, decentralized storage are going to be. We're going to Orin or Renugeth on the server is going to give us a multi-item sorter system here uh, that is going to, we're going to be able to feed the input into one of the builds out there. It's going to come here. It's going to sort which slice it's supposed to go into, and then it's going to go out back to the build that it matches. So like there'll be a slice here for all the wood stuff, the wood things, um, you know, logs, stripped logs, wood, stripped wood, stairs, planks, blah, 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 blah. All the different varieties. And what it's going to do is once it goes through this slice of the multi-item sorter, it's going to say, hey, that belongs, belongs, that item belongs at the lumberjack. And it's going to shoot it over into a water stream that goes over to the lumberjack for storage. So that's why we have this cave as marked out and safe for the storage, because there's going to be a lot of inputs. Um, well, there's going to be one input and multiple outputs to the storage. So that's what's going in this cave here. And then once Orin's done, we'll see if we have any more space to put other builds or storage. Um, now, where's my waterfall to get back down? I always forget. So this cave is kind of shut off from the other one. But the... Is it down? It's down here. <laughs> Sorry, I should have thought about how to get through these better. Uh, but then this cave is going to be a lot of the farming. And I think the next thing that I want to get off the ground and running are the- Oh! Hi! Oh dear! <laughs> you are not part of the farms! I think we still need to light a few places. <laughs> that got me so off guard. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't have torches, so we're just gonna pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> Um, but I think I want to see if we can get these flying farms going uh, because uh, the dripstone is a slow resource to grind. And I want to make sure that for some of the more fantastical builds that we have access to some of the uh, vines because I think those will really fit um, the magic theme. So the flying farms are going to go up here. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm still shook from the creeper. Uh, but then we also have down here, there is, this is a, the smallest part of the cave system, but there is a uh, kind of a basement cave, <laughs> if you want to think about it like that. There's this whole dripstone, or sorry, deep slate cave. I'm, I'm going to mess that up several times this season, I'm sure of it. Um, but this whole deep slate layer, and we do have an 
amethyst geode right there that I think we'll probably use as our main source of amethyst. And then that's what's gonna feed out to the amethyst build. Also, wow, 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 wow. I took a shortcut. I tried to fly through a part that I'm not as familiar with. That was a bad idea. So we have our iron farm down here. Hi, buddy. You're stuck. Why are you stuck? Hello? If I do this, are you gonna wreck my face? Ha ha ha. No, wait, you might actually wreck my face. Um, Pants, I'm sorry if I broke your farm by making him angry. Um, and then we do have, this continues down to the deep slate mining level. We have an automated um, furnace back there and an automated tree farm that does most items. I think it does spruce, birch, jungle, and oak. Oh, are we out of oak? <laughs> uh, of all the things to be out of, we're out of oak saplings in there. Um, but yeah, so all the farms are uh, still pretty early game, but we are going to dress this area up also because I want all of all of spawn to have the theme too. So it's not just going to be we're tucking ugly farms away. Like it's gonna it's gonna look really cool in the underground section as well. So I think that's it for the tour. Um, I'm like 90% sure I didn't miss anything, but, uh, future Zelda is going to correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> um, I will show you guys the, the really, really hilarious footage of the Wither fight. And then, uh, we'll be back for final comments of week one. See you in a minute. Hey, Cap. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me get full, uh, full jump. <gasps> so close. Yeah, like, <laughs> oh, it's mine so goes, close. like, here. <laughs> Merkler got spell. hops. Schmeckler could play in the NBA. <laughs> Ball, are you coming? No, I'm going back down to the mines. All right, let's go do this thing. Ah! Hey! Uh-oh. Who's that? <laughs> Shots fired. Okay. I was How thinking, do you heal your horse? Uh, it heals <laughs> over time. It heals over time. Smackler <laughs> can't be almost apple. dead. Yeah. That we took... have. Oh, okay. We have you... strength arrows. <gasps> oh. It took six and a half hearts off of him. Oh. He's no. got a, a, a stack in two. Come here, Jesse. Come here. <laughs> Trying to assassinate Schmeckler. Did that help? Wow. Uh, I don't know. Try it again. Feed your horse real fast. Let's see what happens. No, it didn't do anything. Get off your horse. Well, feed him carrots. I fed him carrots. I fed him both oh, carrots. Apple. Oh, is it golden apples? Not golden apples. Oh, wait. Golden oh, apples. did I just breed them? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, we got the little pony. <laughs> I mean, well, it's adorable. What's that, Ragavon? <laughs> no. no. That's mine. This doesn't have a name yet. Dang it! Well, that's what we get for trying to heal your horse. Now we have a baby! <laughs> My horse is healed now, so hey. Oh, uh, now we work. have to take care of the baby, though. Here, go in here. Where we're going yeah, we'll... is not safe for you. We can, we can take care of it. No, no, not like that. Who wants the baby horse? Can, it's mine. Can I have the baby? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it is kind of my fault that we have baby. <laughs> that makes more sense, yeah. All right, you ready to go do this thing? Yep. I don't think we have any sugar over here to force it up into a, the brute. Sugar? Yeah, sugar makes them grow. Okay, well, hold on. We might. Do we have any more saddles? Uh, we can borrow one off of one of the other horses while we're on our adventure. I didn't know she had horse rule. Yeah, well, I mean, you have to you have to feed like all quite a bit. Well, I have almost a stack. Oh, well, I need to feed myself apparently too. Hi, buddy. Are you gonna take that horse? Going to grow up to be like freaking <gasps> crazy. Oh, oh. <laughs> Actually, you can probably just put the, the horse away that you're using and just borrow the saddle off of it. It's totally what I'm going to do. <laughs> On there, so. There we go. Okay. I'm going to start wandering over the hill to see what land connects. 
I don't know where you Onward. are. Onward. <laughs> How can I follow Onward. you? I just went to the left. Onward. Like, oh. Diagonally. Ooh. Onward. Careful, <laughs> there's a hole there. Soldiers. <laughs> also, did Charge. it just light me? Should we try and sleep? Nope. Maybe we can use charged creepers against the wither. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> Nobody has a um a trident, do they? Nope. So how, how, how would we light it on fire? You just let it get hit by lightning. Oh, I thought that was a skeleton horse. Oh, it is a pretty horse. I'm gonna fall in a giant hole. Well, oh, let's yeah, fight it, it up there. It connects. Yeah, there's a there's a meadow up here. Ah, uh, miss you, dude. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> where did where did you all go? Keep keep coming. Uh, yep, there. Yep, okay, found you. Yep. It keep connects over this way. I keep, keep dreaming of love. I feel like I should be. <laughs> like you there we go. I, I just moved to the other, like, F, F, whatever, oh. F3. Oh, to, like, C. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Oh, wait, where did you all go again? Um, Just up the kind of, like, ramp kind of looking. We'll come but, back. Okay, okay. You see Jesse? Oh, that's a ravine. I don't see where pants went. Did you go? Oh, you went up. <laughs> so up here would be bad or good? No. Bad. bad. Did you take your milk? Yeah, I've got milk. Um, but let me just got milk. have oh. a little quick sleep <laughs> in this village here. Because it's Wait, nighttime. Are we actually going to fight it? Not oh. in a cave? Yeah. We're, we're going we're okay. to do it legit out in the open. <gasps> we should fight it in that dripstone cave. <gasps> Oh, that was actually a really good idea. No. <laughs> ah, oh. Wait, That's how we all die. Going? Yeah, we've come too far. Jesse, Misty, where are you guys? Here. Um, Where's here? I'm, I'm here. Behind you? Behind you. Turn around. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's continue. Look, it's not like this way. Look, oh. there is a life sized panda. Oh, my goodness. There riding a like... horse. How do you not see this? Uh, I'm a little distracted trying to find some flat ground that we can fight the wither on. Oh, up here. We need flat ground. Up um, here. Hold on. This way. I think on the other side of the ravine, I think we'll be okay. This side looks fine. This side looks good. And you know what? It's covered with poppies. So it's like a death area already. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This, this is the, the battle of... um. Minnington, right here. This is where this happened. Minnington, the Battle of Minnington. You ever it, heard about that? No. No. There's a hole. There, well, Would you like a history a hole, lesson? But it's not as big. Would you as like a his? Would you like a history lesson? Are yeah. we good with this, or do we want to keep exploring? Ah, uh, this is good. Yeah, this is good. Okay. I'm we can try. keep our horses in the village. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay. I was gonna just dig a little hole, but um, will the will the wither target the village? <laughs> Because there's a lot of entities over here. Maybe. <laughs> if it does, it does. I mean, look, this is their fault. They they built a village. Yeah, but if we, park our, our, if we park our horses here, I don't want to cause problems. Well, I mean, look, my horse. Yeah, you're 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 crazy, sir. Though. Here's what I'm gonna do: is I'm gonna dig into the rocks a little hey, bit. Hey, my horse isn't named. I am I am not attached to it yet. <laughs> There's no sentimentality. If he gets you through the fight, then will it be uh become sentimental? Nope. <gasps> no. Nope. He's still he's still slow. <laughs> no. Ah! You gotta dig your own. <laughs> you can't My be in mine. My pick is fast. <laughs> I don't have efficiency, or maybe I do. I like how there is this pen right here. <laughs> I wanted like literally like right next to you guys. I wanted I wanted some security. <laughs> A little bit of Wither can break stone. Oh the it can? Well, yeah, the blast will break obsidian. <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> Alright. Why did we think this was a good idea? <laughs> Why I'm did a... you think this was a good idea? I'm am I the only one in iron armor yeah, I'm too? A... I normally only no, fight with I'm in, I'm in half half. I'm like... I'm not used to fighting it with uh, armor. Oh my gosh. It's is... not going to be. 
it's gonna be fine. Are you All right. sure? Okay, look. Yep. See, this is this. I'm is, sure this Jesse is will only die a couple times. Like... Did you put the bed down? Uh, no, I haven't put the bed down. Where do we want the bed down at? Probably in a place where we could respawn in case Jesse dies. Okay, let's come over or, here. Or when Jesse dies. Let's come over here. Because I don't know how he does it. He just has a good way of killing okay. himself. Everybody got your spawn set? I'm dropping off blocks. We all good? I'm gonna move these down. I'm not hearing any answers, so I'm gonna assume we're all oh. okay. Yeah, go put it on the hill. Wait, that's the on wrong. this day. <laughs> on this day. Hey, did you in bring the your meadows? Totem? I've got totems. Do you guys have totems? I've got three totems. All right. Are you actually four. holding it? Four. Yes. Look. Okay. <laughs> all right. On this day, in Saint Meadowston. The weather was fought. <laughs> and... It doesn't work the same way. Um, did what I do it wrong? What are you doing? <laughs> you did got I do it to wrong? have this block is soul sand. This bottom one is soul sand. Okay, okay. It's a T. Okay. I've spawned it that way in the end before, or in the. But you also put it in the front. You don't put it on top. Oh, okay. Ready? Everybody ready? Every I love how everybody's like 10 miles behind. You need one more. Ahead. One more what? I don't know. One one more. It's... One more we... what? One, one. Do we have any more soul sand? We should only need four soul sand. Five. Four. Five. Four. That was right on top of me! <laughs> <laughs> was not my intention! <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh no! <laughs> this was a bad idea! He's targeting me! <laughs> That's good! Dead. Oh, did the horse die? Yep. I oh. call his armor. Nope. Oh, he's uh. Misty he popped oh, no. the totem. I can't see behind me. <laughs> I'm just gonna run. Just run, Zelda. Just run. I'll try <laughs> to pass him off of you. Try to catch up. <laughs> how, how, do we, right how, do we, how do we get his? How do we get his shield down? No, he, we have to actually melee him. <laughs> oh, this is bad. Do we even have a weather to randomly floating around the server? No, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. This is this is fine. There's nothing wrong here. It doesn't sound that way. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I gotta switch camera <laughs> angles and I can't because I'm dumb. Hi. Ah. All right, we got some good hits. <laughs> I really hope nobody no, wants no, this no, meadow. No, 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 no. <laughs> left, 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 left. I'm trying to cut him off to, when he gets to you. Yeah! Did we get it? <laughs> um, where's the Nether Star? I don't know. <laughs> Where's the other star? Misty has it. Oh. Drop it, Misty. Did you get it though? No, for real. As long as you yeah, got, she it. got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Drop I'm it gonna, in the name of the law. I'm gonna go get that pretty. Uh... Oh, I hit a villager instead. <laughs> Well, Misty, I don't know if you're on push to talk, <laughs> but we can't hear you if you're saying anything. Jesse, do not attack her. I'm not. Oh. She, she attacked you first. That's so that's so sad because I was muted for the whole fight. Oh. 
Sorry, I wasn't um, sure. I thought you were just being quiet and concentrating. <laughs> oh. No, I was telling you to run slower so we could get some hits on it. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry. That's why I wasn't No, listening. you're good. You're good. <laughs> I don't know how many totems I popped either. I popped, A lot. I popped several. Oh, no! no! <laughs> we have an audience. <laughs> mentioned that I was going to start recording my final clip for episode one from this season and fire landed and is like dancing around behind me fire I don't even know I don't even know what that is is that oh that's just him equipping and unequipping it I couldn't figure out what he was doing <laughs> oh face palm face palm face palm <laughs> So, um, of course, and then I, I was chuckling so much about the fact that we have an audience that I forgot that it's almost time to sleep. I was I was going to wait until... <laughs> no, he beat me! All right. It's on, sir! It's on! Uh, I forgot I was going to wait to start pressing or to press record until we were uh, through the night. Um, so, as I mentioned... Uh, future Zelda, now myself, uh, has some information to correct from past Zelda. I knew I was forgetting some things. Uh, so to start with, my armor looks a little different and all my resources aren't enabled just yet. Uh, so normally I have like a, like the pretty rainbow bar. I normally have the Vex wings. Um, we normally have bushier bushes, all from vanilla tweaks data packs, um, or resource packs, but I haven't enabled those yet. <laughs> Is he just imitating me? <laughs> Oops. Oh, I almost I almost jumped off. Uh, okay, I got to focus. I got to focus. Uh, but the one uh, resource pack that I do have enabled is from a community friend, a community member, Lego Flame. It's called Less Intrusive Armor. So if you look on my body here, I'm actually wearing a full set of armor um, minus the chest plate. But he has it so that um, it's just like shin guards, their lower boots. There's not the, like, thing that comes down in between your eyes. I don't know what that's called. The nose guard, maybe. Um, and there's, uh, if, you, if I was wearing a chest plate, it would just be shoulder caps. So I'm going to wear this, uh, or I'm going to have this resource pack on so I can see everybody's skins a little better. I think it looks a little bit nicer, a little bit cleaner. So I wanted to give a shout out to Lego, and I'm going to put the link to this resource pack down below um, so that if anybody else is interested, also, you guys can get it too. But then um, actual server information that I wanted to touch base on the actual first fully completed build and farm together was done by Itsy Bitsy Spider, and that is our bee farm. So we actually have, um, it's producing both honeycomb and honey bottles, and the bees are actually, re this is really cute. I thought, I thought this was a really nice uh, kind of change for this farm, is that the bees are, oh, hi. <laughs> Um, they're, they're free rain bees and I actually might end up hurting myself if I stay in here for too long, but I just, I love the way this looks and I wanted to make sure I showed it, um, because it was up on the hill. It was outside of the spawn chunk. So I didn't, um, I, it's not as part of my mapping, but it just, it looks beautiful. I think Itzy did an amazing job. Uh, and so, hi, yes, you guys all want to get out. I hope, I hope I don't let any of you out. Okay, good. Phew. Phew. I'm not going to, I'm not going to face, uh, some stern lectures from Itzy for letting any of the bees out. That's, that's hard though. Um, and then the final, um, kind of like, mm, we'll, we'll call it the, the bookend. We'll, we'll give this a bookend. This is going to end the, uh, first episode. I'm going to show this off. One of the switchbacks I'm working on, uh, I figured it would be a nice, easy thing for me to work on. And then if I have to be pulled away to do like server admin or modding things or planning things. Um, so I've been working on this a little bit on and off. As soon as I had all the paths um, planned out, we had to get up to up there, <laughs> um, up to the blacksmith that Pants is building. And so we decided on stream um, I, I'm going to be streaming a lot of the progress from this world over on www. 
at uh, twitch.tv slash short Zelda 22. I was again, I was again not ready to give my own link. Uh, it'll be down in the description below. But anyway, we were talking about it on stream and they decided that switchbacks would definitely be the best path up the mountain. Like it didn't make sense to just like, you know, right up the right up the mountain. Um, so I've been working on these and I just worked in most of the path with spruce and then I'm going to put in a bunch of like different details with trapdoors and dark oak and um, like slabs and stairs and signs to mix it up and make it look like it's been patchworked up um, over the years. But the one feedback I got from Pants is that these support pillars have to be wide enough for a horse to go up. He is trying his hardest not to fly. He's gonna he's gonna wait uh, to fly as long as possible. So <laughs> since I have the power of flight, I'm gonna take one more look at the amazingness that is our spawn already. It is coming together so incredibly well for week one. I'm so thrilled with the progress and I really feel like we have good direction going forward for all of the stuff that we want to build and make. So I will say a goodbye from episode one and we'll see you for episode two next week. Bye. But back. All right, guys, I gotta let my dog out real quick. I'll be right back. Can, yeah, I, can I please drive your horse? Can't get, yeah. You can't get the uh the three. No, because my horse. Ooh, well, this this boy be fast. Yeah, it's definitely faster than fanny pack. <laughs> Let's race. Let's race. Okay. Where are we going? Uh. <laughs> Let's go around that little building there, okay. around the sugarcane farm, back to here. Okay. Somebody count us down. Three, two, one, go. Hey, Vault, no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm the slowest horse in this race. I like how I bred these two, those two fast ones, and this one is slower. Uh, I'm well, gonna, well, I'm you. gonna win! I win! Yeah! Because you cheated. <laughs> well, I lost. It's funny <laughs> because I'm actually recording. <laughs> so you're like right in my face in the recording. <laughs> it's really funny because I spent some time like getting in the perfect position. <laughs> <laughs> All right.